What's up everyone, Willie Apple here, and today Apple has released macOS 15.4 to everyone, and in this video I'll be showing you what is new right now. Alright, so the first thing has to do with new emojis. So if I were to open up a text processing software and then press a new document, you're gonna see we got some brand new emojis. I actually already opened them, so here they are right here, and we also got another flag emoji. So, so here are the eight brand new emojis inside of the software. We got a tired emoji, fingerprint emoji, a tree emoji, a root emoji, a harp emoji, a shovel emoji, a paint splatter emoji, and this flag emoji for a country I don't know what it's called, but it exists. Now, next thing has to do with the mail app. So if you were to open up the mail app, you're going to see right here that we got categories now. So if we were to press this, so if we were to press this button right here, this is just a primary and then you can do promotions, you could do updates, or you could just do all mail and to completely turn off categories, you just click on this button and turn off show mail categories. It's just as simple as that. Just if you want mail categories or not, it's just a brand new feature here inside the software. Now the next thing has to do with connection security details. So this was not a feature inside of the previous updates, but now it is a brand new feature inside of here. Actually, all that is brand new is just this button right here for connection security details. This menu has existed and same with the certificates. It's just now it's a lot easier to find just by clicking Safari and the connection security details. The next change has to do with Image Playground. We, cut, we got a couple brand new things inside of here. The first one is that we got a brand new animation style. So we got sketch, illustration, and animation. Let me show you what all of them look like with a top hat, with a barrette. So this is what a sketch looks like. And then if we let it load a bit, this is what an illustration looks like. It's more like a drawing. And then this is more like a pencil one. And then animation is just my favorite one out of the three. It is just basically what you would expect it to be. And Image Playgrounds also feels a lot faster and snappier with a lot less lag than in previous versions of macOS. So Apple has done a really good job optimizing it. Before it was just pretty bad and just not good at all. But we also got a couple brand new things inside of here. Apple has actually removed a couple of themes because they are actually related to winter. So they removed some snow ones and replaced them with like spring variants. So let's see what a spring top hat looks like inside the sunset. And then you'll be able to see what it looks like right here. So Hiker's another new one. They also have some summerish themes like sunglasses and Flower Crown. That's a brand new one. They just got rid of a lot of the wintery ones and just added spring variants. Now the next change has to do with Siri. So these are some brand new buttons that you could click right here. And basically what it does, it just tells you what it can do, for example. And you can also just do suggestions. And as you type, this is not a new feature. So let's say Willy, and you're going to see it gives you suggestions. It's actually a lot faster than it was before. And Siri just feels a lot more improved because the Siri UI has been a bit jank lately. But now it's a pretty much fixed. Next change has to do with the passwords app. So if you were to click a password right here, you're going to see that you now have a progress bar. And that's what it looks like when it animates. It does an Apple-like animation, just spins around. You can just copy it as always, and you can always just use it as well. So it's just a lot easier to use here, and it's just really nice to see that you now have a progress bar. I'm pretty sure they had a countdown, but they removed it. But now it is back here inside the Passwords app. Now the next change is that we got a brand new widget inside of here. So we have a library widget. So this is so this widget right here shows you what you have saved inside of your podcast. However, I don't have anything saved, so it doesn't show me what I have saved. Now the next change has to do with the home app. So inside of the home app, you're now able to add robot vacuums inside of here. However, I would recommend doing this on an iOS device. Now the next change has to do when resetting your Mac. So if you were to reset your Mac inside of here, or if you just get a new Mac with macOS 15.4 pre-installed, you'll be able to set up your Mac with your iPhone. So you just bring your iPhone close to your Mac, it basically just sets up like with AirPods and stuff like that. So it is really nice to see here. Now next change has to do with shortcuts. We got a couple brand new shortcuts inside of here. So the first one is related to messages. So if we were to messages right here, you'll see that the open conversation one is brand new right here. It's just, this is just self-explanatory. You just open up messages to a specific conversation. So you don't need to click it if you go text somebody a lot, for example. You also got a couple of new maps, new weather ones. 
They're mostly just settings and stuff like that, but you're able to now do a lot of brand new shortcuts. So Map, Safari, Calendar, Apple TV, Weather, and the Reminders app all have brand new actions inside of here. Now next change has to do with the news app. So if you have Apple News Plus, you'll be able to do a brand new category inside of here that's called food. So this is what it is basically, it's just a bunch of recipes that you could just follow along and it just makes cooking easier if you don't know how to cook that well. Now the next change is if you were to go inside of system settings and then go into Siri settings and then go into voices, and if you click on Australian, you'll see that there are two brand new voices for the Australian voice variant. And if you live in South Korea, you now have Find My Support. So basically what this app does, it lets you find your iPhone, iPad, and Mac and if you were to get an AirTag, you'll be able to find basically anything inside the Find My app. And now one of the last changes inside of here, if you were to go inside wallpaper settings and scroll down to the picture section, you now have Radio Sky Blue wallpaper. Now this isn't new if you have an M4 MacBook Air, but if you don't have an M4 MacBook Air, you now have the Radio Sky Blue option. Now the next change has to do with Apple intelligence. So if you speak the following languages, including French, German, Portuguese, Italian, Korean and Chinese, you now have support for Apple Intelligence. Meanwhile, you did not have Apple Intelligence before, but you now have Apple Intelligence now. So as a nice thing to report, if you speak the one of those following languages, you can now use Apple Intelligence in the language of your choice. And now the next change is if you were to go inside a software update settings, you'll notice that it looks completely different. So this is what it looks like when there's an update. You can get to the i button just by clicking this i button right here. And then you can modify your settings as you could before. It just looks a lot different. It shows you, and it actually shows you which one you have installed. And it's overall just a lot cleaner. Now I don't like that the updates are on top. I wish they would move it down below, but it's still nice to see regardless. Now the next thing has to do with the Photos app. So a couple of things have changed inside of here. The first thing is that Favorites has been moved down here and recently deleted has been moved up here. So before you would need to go inside of utilities to get inside of your recently deleted. And overall, nobody really used favorites and you could also just filter by favorites right here. So it was kind of redundant just having favorites right here and recently deleted makes a lot more sense just so you could clear storage pretty easy. It has easy. to do with the app store. So if you were to download an app right here, let's let it download for a bit, you're gonna see that you're not able to pause download. So before this would just cancel the download, but now you're just able to pause download. So if you wanna prioritize Willy widgets for example now let's say that i did not mean to download this app because this app kind of sucks compared to willy widgets what well, well what you can do is press and hold option and then click on this x button and it will cancel the download just like that anyways that is everything new here inside of mac os 15.4 thanks for watching come like subscribe share this with your friends down my apps willy widgets willy study and willy dreams on the description down below and i'll see you in my next video bye